What's going on, MLM hackers? Hey, I hope you guys are doing great. Um, look, every year I do um, a, a video where I publicly display kind of what my goal is for the next year. And I thought that it would be kind of cool to actually publish the audio of that in this podcast. And so um, it's not uh, not too often that I publish uh, the same audio in two different shows, but uh, this is me being vulnerable. <laughs> it always makes me nervous. It always makes me a little bit uh, scared of, of what um, I've been able to go out and, I don't know, just getting really, really, really clear on what I want and then actually going out and telling people what it is that I want to do. And so the following is a, a an audio piece from... Um, uh, from from a video I literally took yesterday, and so I'm excited to get this out to you guys. Um, the the product secret MLM hacks is uh, just about ready to go public, which I'm very very excited about. Uh, it's about uh, five o'clock in the evening right now, and I am rolling this out tomorrow at two p.m. January fourth, two p.m. And I am so excited, um, and uh, it's I've just been hauling. I'm pretty sure I won't sleep tonight, which I'm actually really excited about. Just the whole thing. I always get it kind of uh, uh, anyway, super stoked about that. So, anyways, this is my goal though for 2018. And um, I challenge you to get out there and get public about whatever goal it is that you have. Get out there and, and start getting real what that is. The funny thing is that not only do you get more clear on what you want in order to tell people, but you actually find that other people actually hold you accountable to that as well. So a lot of benefits that come from that. And it also uh, requires a little bit of growth on your side of being unapologetic on what you actually want, you know, for fear of offending others, what it is you're actually going for. So anyway, excited for you guys, excited for this episode. Let's dive right in. So here's the real mystery. How do real MLMers like us, who didn't cheat and only bug family members and friends, who want to grow a profitable home business, how do we recruit A players into our downlines and create extra incomes, yet still have plenty of time for the rest of our lives? That's the blaring question, and this podcast will give you the answer. My name is Steve Larson, and welcome to Secret MLM Hacks Radio. At the beginning of every single year, um, for the last, this is the fourth time I've done it in a row now. Um, every January 1st, I go and I find a spot and I think through what it is I want to get done in the next year. And then I publicly declare what that thing is. And uh, it's one of the scariest things I, I do. I honestly started it because I was tired of not feeling like I was, I felt like I was going nowhere in life um, four years ago, financially, I mean, uh, uh, professionally, with where I was going with my goals, all those things. Like, I felt like, I, I don't know. And it was, it was in hopes that by declaring the goal publicly, several things would happen. Number one, I'd hold my own feet to the fire better. Um, other people did as well. But really, the thing that I wanted to have happen is that by me getting serious enough to, to actually declare, here is my goal, I finally would have a goal. Does that make sense? Like by getting specific enough on on what the goals are that I have, I, I actually would know um, uh, what my own goals are. Are. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense, but uh, I wasn't really setting goals. I, I didn't have goals. I didn't have things that that uh, that were. Um, I didn't have any of that kind of stuff. And so what I decided to do is like, hey, what if I was to go set a goal publicly and uh, tell everybody? And the, the interesting thing that happened is exactly as I thought. Um, Number one, it was scary. Uh, number two, it felt weird publicly to saying a number. Um, and then what was kind of interesting is all these people started kind of coming out of the woodwork and saying, Steven, you can do this, you got this. Uh, you, you know, you're the man, go for it, you know, stuff like that. And you know what's funny is, I don't think ever I've actually hit the goal on target. I don't think ever. And um, and that's okay. Uh, the first year, I was like, if I could just make an extra $1,000 a month, it would change our entire life. You know, we, we had almost nothing. We were living on student loans. Um, I was... Um, I mean, it, it, it was hard as a man to go through that because like, I didn't feel like I was being a provider, um, which was really rough. <laughs> um, so I was like, man, if I could just do a thousand dollars a month, that was four years ago, three years ago. Um, you know, the, the second time I did it was, uh, $3,000 a month. I was like, Oh man, I, I hit the thousand a few times. And, and this, uh, you know, coming up this next year, I'm going to go for 3000, um, a month. And then this next one, uh, the last one I did was $30,000 a month, uh, which was significantly higher, obviously, but I'm pleased to say that I actually hit it a couple times. And, uh, this is excluding, you know, um, uh, you know, my, my salaried position, you know what I mean? And it was, uh, it was exciting for me to see that. It was exciting for me to, uh, to see that progress happen. And so yet again, here I am. I'm going to set another goal for 2018. I only set, I really focused on just one goal. I'm not really like a, you know, let's set a billion goals out there. Um, when I'm on stage and when I'm teaching, when I'm doing the different things I do, like I, one of the things, especially with a lot of my students, one of the things that I see happen over and over and over again is somebody won't get started simply because they can't see all the path in between where they are and where they're trying to go. 
and uh, that's not how life works you know you see like the few steps in front of you you see the peak of the mountain but you don't see all the trails in between you don't see that there's a canyon in the middle you don't see that there's gonna be all these different obstacles along the way that's not how that's how that's how life works okay there's all these unexpected things that happen and so what I um, uh, the reason I like setting these goals publicly like this is for the sole purpose of of um, uh, of, uh, I don't, like I said, holding my feet to the fire, but it's fun to to know what I'm going to go try and accomplish. And if I don't get it done, I'm going to be personally offended by myself about that. You know, I, I might, I'm actually going to also get mad about it. I'll actually get mad about uh, uh, not hitting the goal, not reaching what it is I said I would do. Um, but I also know that's okay. You know, and, and I sprint as hard as I can towards it. And it was cool that first year. There was like only a couple times I hit a thousand dollars a month, and it felt like this insurmountable, massive thing. I was like, "Oh my gosh, this is changing my life!" You know. And then the second second year when it was just three thousand dollars a month, the same thing. I only hit it a couple times, I think, <laughs> and it was like, "Holy crap, that's massive!" What it made me go learn, because I set the goal, was the kind of knowledge I needed to hit those goals. Like, I, I don't, I don't totally know all the steps and pieces to be able to hit the goal that I'm going for for this next year. But I know that uh, I'm motivated enough now to go hit it and people are watching me, which is kind of weird. Um, but uh, uh, you know, it, <laughs> it's, it's how I'm doing it. And uh, it's it's been working. So here's the goal. Okay, so the first year I hit a couple, I got I hit $1,000 a month, just a few rounds. Second year, I hit a $3,000 a month, a few rounds. Last year, I hit a $30,000 a month, a few, a few rounds. And I decided that I would, um, I would take a leap, a huge leap of faith here and um, quit my job. And so I actually, as of yesterday, am no longer employed by anybody. And uh, I am self-employed, which might sound ludicrous, but uh, it's, I'm just following the pattern. I'm following the pattern I see from other people. I'm following the pattern I've seen the last few years. And um, I, I, uh, I'm self-employed. And... Uh, that extra little edit, you know, good pressure, not bad pressure, good pressure is helping me grow. Uh, like I can already feel it. It's only day two. Okay. It's like, and I can already feel my feet being held to the fire, which would be nice right now. It's pretty cold out. <laughs> um, but I was sitting, I was sitting in, the, in, a, in a mastermind and I was thinking, I was listening to all these other people and I was listening to how they were talking and I was watching, most of them were all self-employed. And I was watching, I was watching each one of them and the struggles and the challenges they were going through. And I was like, I feel, I feel like the thing that I need to do to keep my progress going is something that I'm afraid of admitting. And I would sit, I, I remember sitting in the, in the room right there. I sat in the room and I, I didn't, <laughs> I couldn't get the stupid topic out of my head for like weeks that I should probably leave my job. And I was like, I can't, oh my, are you serious? And I kept trying to, it was weird. I was like trying to distract myself from my own head. And then one day, it was when I was sitting in that mastermind when I kind of came to terms with it. I was like, okay, for me to move forward, I have to leave my job. And I was like, oh my gosh. And it, it scared me. It actually really freaked me out because it, um, I, I understood clearly <laughs> because of where I work, worked, <laughs> click funnels right there's like 56,000 at the time of me making this is 56,000 active users of click funnels that's like that lets us see businesses in pretty much every single industry what's working what isn't and as the as the lead funnel builder there like that my role there like I saw a lot of funnels I knew what worked what didn't what things were good what things were bad what you know what was cutting edge versus versus <clears throat> What are the things that are going to stay true forever in this industry, in that industry, but not that one or this one, you know what I mean? And it was cool to see this big, broad thing. And so I was sitting there and I was like, I think I have to quit my job and I think I know what I'm going to go do first and I'm excited to go do it. And, and this feeling of, instead of fear, this feeling of, um, of uh, almost like, almost like I used to do sprint triathlons. And it was the feeling I get before a sprint triathlon. A little bit of nervous feeling, you know. You know that what you're about to go through is actually gonna hurt just a little bit, but but you ultimately know it's gonna go pretty good. And and even though even though you're you know you're gonna get banged up or scrapes or you're swimming in the lake and you're getting hit by a stick that's random in there, or someone kicks you in the face, you know what I mean? Like that's all stuff that would happen in there. Like it still would end up being. I look back on all those memories with huge fondness. And I, this is gonna be like that. And I've had people reach out and take time out of the day to tell me that it, my plan is stupid. And I've had people reach out, take time out of the day to tell me that my plan is awesome. And, and 
that tells me right there that I'm heading in the right direction as well to get that get that polarity and get that split <clears throat> between between people. So I'm excited for this. I'm excited for it. I've, I've worked hard towards this. My goal is a million dollars. And um, that's my 2018 goal is to get in the two comma club by the end of 2018. And I'm quite positive I'm gonna be able to do it much faster than that um, uh, because of the stuff I've identified where I'm going what I'm selling the things that I'm, I mean I, I am it is extremely calculated everything that I'm doing <clears throat> and I know life's all about curveballs so that will probably change a billion times but for right now that's what the goal is that's what the plan is um, and I know exactly what I'm gonna be doing for the next uh, especially the next six weeks it's gonna be straight up hustle time I'm gonna put put down anything happy <laughs> or fun or, or relaxing or whatever but I'm excited and I hope that uh, whatever you guys are doing that you go set a goal for yourself and get public about it I don't care what it is it's the the, the important part is to um, not be afraid to tell people um, funny enough we all think that uh, by telling people I by telling people our ideas our ideas will get stolen and I've never actually had that be the case I try and tell everyone what my ideas are, try and tell everybody what the things are that I'm doing. And I, I find that people actually end up adding to the idea rather than steal it. And uh, I mean, there's only been maybe like one or two people ever who've actually tried to do the thing I'm talking about. And people don't because it's not their idea. It's, it's my ownership on my side, you know? And even if they did go pull it off, even if they did go do the thing that I was doing, they still won't do it in the same way. I'm the only one, I'm, I'm the only me. You know what I mean? <clears throat> um, anyway, so I'm excited, I'm really pumped. My goal is a million dollars, it's $83,000 a month, and I think I can do it. And I've, I've, I've stacked a ton of high ticket sales, um, uh, high ticket sales uh, scenarios and environments at the beginning of the year to help me get towards that right off the bat. And then I think I know where I'm gonna take it afterwards and I'm excited. And it's requiring that I go hire people and it's requiring that I build a team around me and it's requiring that I grow, that I learn how to manage, that I learn how to delegate, that I actually have a structure and schedule for my days personally as a human, as an individual. And I'm looking forward to the growth. And I know that there's some, uh, there's some discomfort that's gonna come with it, but I'm actually excited about that as well. It's uh, uh, um, I'm, I'm ready for the next change. So this is this is it, guys. Four years ago, my goal was a thousand dollars a month, and now I'm going to eighty-three thousand dollars a month. And it sounds ridiculous, but I kind of like that. <laughs> so I'm going to do it. So if you want to follow me on the journey from here on out, I'm going to be documenting what I do and showing everyone what I do, so that uh, we can all kind of, I don't know. It's not about me beating my chest. It's about actually selfishly everyone else still kind of holding me to to what I said that I was going to go do. So anyway, I thought I'd come to this park here. It's freezing out, but uh, that's my goal. 2018, a million bucks. That's crazy. I remember scraping by at the beginning of our marriage, just like with nothing. We had like nothing, no, no, you know, not even two nickels to rub together, and uh, and the the. The ridiculous stress that that pulls in. I used to think rich people were greedy. That's not. That's not true at all. I actually have experienced more, more of, of the greedy side when you have no money and you're like, "Where's my next meal coming from? When am I gonna eat? You know, where's this? Where's that?" And you get like, like scraping by clawing, like you're getting past everyone, everything. Don't care about others' emotions. You are just thinking about how to make the next meal. And I know that's a stereotype, but, but it's been my personal experience that. That it's actually a little bit the other way around <laughs> and um, uh, I'm excited for this and how it's gonna change me and change my family it's gonna require me to change I, I understand that where I am I probably don't know enough or have enough or whatever to get to that next level but I'm ready so 2018 here I come what's your goal post your goal down below I'd love to know what your goals are hey thanks for listening please remember to subscribe and leave feedback for me do you have a question you want answered live on the show? Go to secretmlmhacksradio.com to submit your question and download your free MLM Masters Pack. 